Travel restrictions at all U.S. land borders have been extended for another month, which could have a devastating effect on businesses that rely on holiday shoppers who come from Mexico. ABC 10 News anchor Mary McKenzie has the latest on that announcement. For the eighth month in a row, the land borders between the U.S. and its neighboring countries to the north and south will remain closed to limit the spread of COVID-19. The extension confirmed today by Customs and Border Protection officials. It will last through December 21st. The agreement continues the hold on tourism and recreational trips, though essential business and trade are still unaffected and people can continue to come into the states for education and medical reasons as well. The restrictions were first put in place in March to control the spread of the virus. They've been extended each month ever since. The U.S. leads the world in COVID-19 cases and deaths. And with cases rising in all three countries, this extension was agreed to by the U.S., Mexico and Canada. Businesses in the border region have already seen a major decline because of the travel restrictions. The San Ysidro Chamber of Commerce has said many have permanently closed and that the restrictions have had a devastating effect on the region. They told ABC 10 News in the past that retail at the border has taken the biggest hit to date. And they've expressed concern even before the confirmation of this extension that if holiday shopping were restricted, it would decimate the region. Mary McKenzie. ABC 10 News. We have reached out to the San Isidro Chamber of Commerce for some comment, but we're still waiting to hear back.